Despite the stress young people encountered on the street, respondents to our survey had great aspirations for themselves. In five years, I see myself halfway done with school, very stable in my housing situation, very stable in my financial situation, and just thankful for everything I have. I see myself in a house taking care of myself and going to work. Truth is, I, want, I just want to be a family man. I have a steady job, I'm working, everything's going really well. I have an opportunity to, to move out on my own and start my own life, begin, begin fresh. Um, and trying to do that, there's a lot of things that I didn't know were necessary. Uh, just basic, basic things about getting an apartment that I had no idea about, like, say, first, last, deposit, co-signers, things like this that I've never even heard. Sometimes it's not these large housing programs and enormous amounts of things. It really can be for him to get his apartment, it's just first and last months and, and maybe on a security deposit or, or first two months so he can be on his feet. A lot of the homeless young people want the same thing, just to be normal young people, just to have a job, have somewhere to live, just have stability. Uh, for me, uh, and I, I could tell in, the, in, the, in a lot of the interviews, was that what it boiled down to was stability. A lot of the kids just don't have the means and don't know how to do it, and if they did, they would. Hi, this is my apartment. It is a one bedroom. It used to be a steel factory and then it turned into an art gallery and then it turned into an apartment. And now it's my apartment. Having my own place is great. It's amazing, it's the best feeling ever because I get to control everything. I pay, I pay rent, I clean it, I do everything that I have to do to keep it up. I'm glad that it's all in my hands now. To end youth homelessness, ask young people what they need to stabilize. Build relationships with them and stop punishing them for what has gone wrong in their lives. We are asking educators, service providers, and law enforcement to open doors for the 90% of homeless youth who told us they want to change their housing situation. What we see often, and this is why we need to invest in these young people for the long haul, because it's not just getting that apartment or getting, getting that job, that's when life gets scary. When you have something to lose, life gets really scary. I'm still afraid that one of these months I'm not going to come up with rent and we'll get evicted and or something else bad will happen. Alan Bow, one of the youth researchers on this project, was shot and killed a month after speaking alongside Assemblymember Dave Jones at our October 2007 seminar. He was on the street the night he was killed because he had no place to stay that night. The California legislature adjourned early on December 17, 2007 in his memory. Losing him is a reminder to all of us of the urgency of addressing the needs of California's homeless youth.